Blue Moon Valley is a small village. Lee Sun lives there with her grandmother. She is very happy in Blue Moon Valley. But there's a problem. Lee Sun's grandmother is very old and very ill. She can't work anymore and has no money. One bright April morning, she says to Lee Sun, Sit down, granddaughter. I have something to tell you. What is it, grandmother? asks Lee Sun. The old woman's eyes are sad and tired. Read this letter, she says. It's for your uncle in the big city. I want you to go and talk to him. Lee Sun reads the letter. But, she says, and looks at her grandmother. You're asking him to give me a job. In his circus. Yes, the old woman answers. Lee Sun and her grandmother talk for a long time. Lee Sun doesn't want to leave Blue Moon Valley. It's my home, she says. But every child leaves home one day, the old woman answers. And you're not a child now. You're a young woman. I want you to be free. In the end, Lee Sun looks at the floor and says, Yes, Grandmother. Two days later, she leaves the village. In the next week, Lee Sun walks a long way. She sees mountains, fields, trees and farms. Every morning she drinks from cold rivers. Every night she sleeps under thousands of bright stars. Then, after eight days, she comes to the big city. It has high walls with stone lions on top of them. Hundreds of people are running left and right in front of her. Excuse me. She says to an old man, Do you know this address? She shows him her grandmother's letter. You want the circus? He says, That's easy. Go down this street and turn left at the end. Ten minutes later, Lee Sun is at the circus. Her uncle is very happy to see her. Oh, yes, of course you can have a job, he says. Come with me. Behind the circus, there are some big cages. Here we are, says Lee Sun's uncle. You can help to wash the animals, he smiles. And you can help to give them their food, too. Do you understand? Lee Sun looks at all the animals. There are monkeys, tigers, elephants, horses, and lions. Then she looks at her uncle again. Y yes, uncle, she says. Lee Sun works very hard for three months. Every week, she writes to her grandmother. In her letters, she says, I'm very happy, but she's not. She tells her only friend, Choo Choo the panda, I want to go home. Then one day, her uncle says, The emperor's coming here tomorrow. I want all the animals to be very, very clean. All right. Of course, says Lee Sun. The next morning, Lee Sun is giving the tigers their food. Suddenly, she hears her uncle say, 
You've got another job? She opens the long red curtains. Her uncle's talking to Yu Mei. She works with Wu Qi, the horseman. Yes, says Yu Mei. And I'm leaving today. Goodbye. After she leaves, Li Sun's uncle looks at Wu Qi. Oh, now what can we do? He asks. A moment later, he sees Li Sun. Of course, he says. Li Sun, she can help you this evening.、Uh, what? Wu Qi laughs. But she can't learn Yu Mei's job in one day. Do you have another answer? Asks Li Sun's uncle. Wu Qi says nothing. In ten minutes. Li Sun is wearing Yu Mei's circus clothes. That evening, the emperor arrives at seven o'clock. He's wearing beautiful gold clothes. He sits down and watches the circus. Then, at the end, he talks to Li Sun's uncle. Who's that new girl with your horseman? He asks. Her name is Li Sun. Comes the answer. The emperor smiles. She's young, but very good. Oh, thank you, emperor," says Li Sun's uncle. After that evening, Li Sun doesn't clean the animals' cages any more. She works with Wu Qi every day, but that's not all. She starts to love the horsemen too. They often walk in a beautiful park next to the emperor's palace. There, one day in October, Wu Qi puts a hand on Li Sun's arm. You make me very happy," he says. "I want you to be my wife." Li Sun doesn't know what to say. She wants to be Wu Qi's wife, but not here in the big city. She wants to live with him at home, in Blue Moon Valley. She tells him this. And looks into his eyes. Can you understand? She asks. Wu Qi looks down. I don't know. He answers. My home's here in the city. Let me think about it. We can talk again tomorrow. It's a very long night for Li Sun. She cannot sleep. She goes to see her old friend Chu Chu. Oh, what's he going to say tomorrow? She asks the panda. Am I doing the right thing? I love him, but I can't live in the city. I don't like it. My home's back in Blue Moon Valley. Chu Chu looks at Li Sun. His eyes are big, brown, and sad. Early next morning, Wu Qi finds Li Sun in the panda's cage. Come with me, he says. They go to see Li Sun's uncle. Wu Qi has something to tell him. Li Sun's going to be my wife," he says. "But that's not all. 
We are leaving the circus. I'm going to be a farmer in Blue Moon Valley. Oh, Wu Qi, says Li Sun. She's very, very happy. One week later, Li Sun and Wu Qi leave the city. Everyone comes to say goodbye. Then, at the last minute, four men arrive. They're carrying a big box. What's this? asks Li Sun. It's something from all of us, says her uncle. Please, open it. Li Sun opens the box. Choo <gasps> choo, she says. Oh, uncle, thank you, thank you.